three days after people. Almost 4,000 oil platforms in the Gulf of Mexico are still braving the waves and still pumping one and a half million barrels of oil a day. If people were to disappear, the platforms could operate under their own power for a few days, because that's the amount of fuel that they carry. And then the emergency generators would kick in for another few days. But probably what would happen is that the pipelines would all fill up, because there'd be no more consumption. And so there'd be a cascading effect of shutdowns. 34,000 miles of undersea pipes will soon clog up with undelivered oil. Fortunately, watertight valves prevent the oil from leaking into the ocean. In the Gulf of Mexico, a century of hurricanes has reduced the nearly 4,000 oil platforms to just one. Every time there's a hurricane, uh, statistically, we lose about 3 or 4% of the platform fleet. Over a 20-year period, a 9,000-ton oil platform can sink several feet into the soft seabed of the Gulf of Mexico. So every year makes it more vulnerable to ocean waves, which can top 50 feet. The last platform would probably be a big rust bucket with a missing deck and barnacles and marine growth. A final wave pushes the rusty hulk over into the waiting embrace and roar of the deep. One hundred and ten years after people. Marine animals have created new habitats from the ruins of human endeavors. They will find sunken vessels, fallen bridges, brick brack, buildings that may have fallen in, uh, sunken or flooded. Anything that provides some sort of a structure, marine organisms will start to colonize them. Even sunken oil platforms are now habitats with only a limited risk of oil seeping out of the undersea pipelines. It would take probably a 60-year period for the systems that are containing the oil to fail sufficiently that you'd start oozing oil. But at the same time, the oil is going to degrade and gel and be less fluid. The automatic systems are designed to protect uh, even without people. The platforms are first colonized by barnacles, followed by sponges, corals, and oysters. Next, what you'll start to see are invertebrates and reef fish that start to make homes in the crevices and the hideaways. Within five years of the platform sinking, the sharks arrive, and the food chain is complete. So it actually is an entire ecosystem where there might not have been anything there before. Below the waves or above, water will leave nothing untransformed. <laughs> 